प्रेडिक्शन सीरीज सो in in this particular episode in today's episode i'm going to start this season off season 5 off with a very interesting problem jo maine actually community pe post kiya tha youtube community par and uh, if you haven't if you haven't checked it out uh, i'll display the question and if you want you can pause the video and try it out theek hai so let's let's just quickly look at the question All right, so let's discuss this question. It's a very interesting question, which I have formulated when I was reading a, a paper in the European Journal of Physics. As I said, when the American Journal of Physics, European Journal of Physics, uh, Resonance Journal, India, wala, so in these, sometimes I find papers that are, if I, if I find them interesting and relevant to J advance, I try to formulate a question to bring these out of the box uh, uh, type of questions. For you guys. So let's take a look at this question. So क्या बोला गया कि मेरे पास एक fixed ring है in the vertical plane, and I have a large number of thin smooth railings, thin smooth rods, जिस पे beads can slide. ठीक है. Now in addition to gravity, you also have a resistive force which is opposite to velocity, and that force depends on velocity. So it turns out कि a surprising observation ki all the beads when they are released from the highest position simultaneously they reach the circumference simultaneously sab ek sath pahunch jate hain circumference of the circle regardless of what the radius of the circle is koi bhi radius le lo all these beads are going to reach the circumference simultaneously so how should that resistive force depend on velocity to maine options diye hain whether it should be uh, inversely proportional quadratic in velocity directly proportional exponential किस तरीके से होना चाहिए लेट्स लेट्स जस्ट फाइंड बट देर इज अ वेरी नाइस वे टू अप्रोच दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लेट्स टेक अ लुक तो सिंस द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट ऑल द बीड्स रीच द सर्कल साइमल्टेनियसली रिगार्डलेस ऑफ The radius, मतलब क्या at any given instant, at any given instant, the beads are lying on a circle, जिसका highest point is this जो initial position है bead का, they are all released from the highest position. So beads का highest position के through एक जो circles pass हो रहे, the beads all lie on that at any given instant. So at a given instant, the beads will be here. थोड़े time बाद the beads will be here. So these are all imaginary circles. Basically, you can say the locus of uh, the all the beads will be a circle passing from the highest position. ठीक है initial point. फिर थोड़े time बाद the beads will be here. फिर the beads will be here. Correct? So अगर मैं कोई general angle theta पे एक bead consider करूँ at some instant, ठीक है at some instant, let me just consider. a general angle with the vertical theta which is a variable and this bead pe kya kya forces lagega ek to mg cos theta lagega ek resistive force lagega let's call it f theek hai so i'll have mg cos theta minus f should be equal to ma a is the acceleration of the bead right now if i say ki radius of the circle at any given instant is r तो लेट लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ अनदर डायग्राम सो लेट से कि दिस बीड ये जो बीड है दैट इज लाइंग ऑन अ सर्कल ऑफ सम रेडियस आर तो मेरा बीड यहां पर है ठीक है सो आई हैव जस्ट ड्रॉन दिस इमेजिनरी सर्कल हियर 
जिसका रेडियस इज आर ओके तो ये लेंथ कितना हो जाएगा इसका डिस्प्लेसमेंट कितना हो जाएगा तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द बीड वुड बी यह एंगल थीटा है यह एंगल भी थीटा है तो डिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट वुड बी वॉट टू आर कॉस थीटा करेक्ट आर कॉस थीटा आर कॉस थीटा सो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज टू आर कॉस थीटा Now, as this bead travels down, this R is going to change because the bead will keep lying on circles of increasing radius. Correct? So, its velocity. What can I write? Two into dr by dt into cos theta. Right? Acceleration. What can I write? Two into d two r by dt squared into cos theta. Correct? Let's just substitute this acceleration here. So, what am I getting? Look at me. Mg cos theta. माइनस एम ए शुड बी इक्वल टू द रेजिस्टिव फोर्स राइट नाउ क्या बोला गया कि दिस इक्वेशन ये जो फोर्स है दैट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वेलोसिटी एंड वेलोसिटी इट सेल्फ इज दिस करेक्ट सो इफ आई राइट एम जी माइनस टू एम डी टू आर बाई डी टी स्क्वेर इंटू कॉस थीटा शुड बी गुड एफ ऑफ वी राइट तो अगर मैं इस तरीके से लिखूँ एम जी माइनस टू एम डी टू आर बाई डी टी स्क्वेर इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वी डिवाइड बाई कॉस थीटा ऐसा लिख देता हूँ अब लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द एंगल सो राइट हैंड साइड मस्ट ऑल्सो भी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द एंगल Correct. This is true for any angle theta. So right hand side should also be independent of theta. So therefore, f of v must be proportional to cos theta. But v itself is proportional to cos theta. So f of v must be proportional to v. ठीक है. So therefore, the frictional, the resistive force must be proportional to the velocity of the bead. Only if, only when the force is proportional to the velocity of bead. This will this this uh, phenomena will happen. Ki all the beads will lie on a given circle at any given instant. वो circle का radius बढ़ते जाएगा. ठीक है? वो it makes sense from this equation also. कि ये भी cos theta है, ये भी cos theta है, तो ये भी cos theta होना चाहिए. And ये cos theta होना चाहिए मतलब v v it is a function of v बोला गया. So it should be proportional to cos theta. It should be proportional to velocity. All right, so it's a very interesting resolution to this uh, problem. This का नाम Galileo's kinematical paradox दिया है उस paper में जो जिसका link मैं description में भी डाल रहा हूँ जिससे मैंने एक question formulate किया. So it's a very nice JEE advanced level question. We didn't actually solve anything. We just wrote the force equation, uh, simple force equation लिखा हमने यहाँ पर ये वाला. And then we just uh, recognize this cos theta वाला term. ठीक है, so it's a very nice way to solve this. So this prediction series is about helping you guys to expand your thinking. and uh, try to think in a slightly different manner compared to jo questions tum generally coaching material wagar mein karte ho all right so i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section that's it for today i'll see you at the top let's go